That's a poodle. That's a poodle. <laughs> Isn't it funny? You went shopping for a Christmas tree yeah. and you came home with a tuk tuk. <laughs> How did you find this? Luck. Luck. On the internet? Or not? No, we were looking at another farmhouse in, in another polder. It's called the Beemster. It's close by. Which we wanted to buy it with friends, share it. Because it, we just couldn't afford a farmhouse like this. So and you were planning to buy a farmhouse together with some with other friends. people? Yeah, but my ex-boyfriend was a bit like a little rooster. And my, my friend... It's a bit the same. So I thought, ooh, not a good combination, those two, two together. Two go live together. Two roosters in a house. No, no, <laughs> That's no, no, not no. a success. <laughs> That's not going to work. So, and just accidentally, we just drove through the area just to get the feel of it. And we saw a sign in the, wind, in the, in the front garden here for sale. So we thought, oh, I haven't seen that on the internet. But that's 18 years ago. And uh, so the farmer came out and he said, uh, what do you want? And we said, well, we're just looking, don't worry. And he said, well, come on in. And uh, so he said, we don't need an estate agent, you just come on in. So we, we went in, saw the whole place, and it was falling apart. There were holes this big in the roof. You could see the sky from the inside. It was just a terrible state. But I fell in love with it. Yeah. I, I just loved it from the start. And I could see the, like all the opportunities and what it could, what it could be. And, what you could do with it all. So I thought, let's I, go for it. I can understand completely. Yeah, I can understand it completely. It is quite dark in some areas inside because it is a very old farm. So I really hope that you guys can see everything. I think it will be okay. And otherwise I just need to bring out some of my lights. This is Roger. All kinds of very cute doggy. Oh no. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, he's so funny. So you have a very big entryway. So this was the cow shed. It was all the way to the back, 23 meters of cows. Oh yeah, so from here were... all the way to the door no. that you see over there. Yeah. So the far was end. Yeah, it was cows. Yeah, there was cows. Th this is the original, we left it in just mm -hmm. to keep some of it. And the cows were head faced against the wall. Usually they stand the other way around with yeah. their heads here and eat from the, it's, it's more handy. But they had it other way around. It's called the Westfriese stall. And so the cows were standing here, two cows in each compartment. So there were 18 cows. They had nine of these compartments. It's a bit messy at the moment, but this will be the tech room for the horses. And the poo just went in here in the ditch. Yeah. And all the way to the back, there was a big cutter to get rid of all the mess. Yeah, this is typical, typical Dutch to have cows attached to your house. Very close, very nice and warm nice in the winter. Nice and warm in the winter. Rogier's farmhouse was exactly the same situation. It was oh, also nice. a cow farm yeah. a long time ago. So. And uh, in the summer, the people lived here because it was nice and cool and the cows were outside yeah. and they had the summer kitchen in here. So in this, uh, behind this door, there was the milk tank Yeah. and we converted it into a bathroom. bathroom. So it's a bit different now, but when I bought the place, it was like summer kitchen and they cooked here and they lived here actually. So this is still the traditional... This is the original little kitchen area. Yeah. I really like this. Those yeah, little uh, tiles in there. It's amazing. A toilet. Beep. And a very... Nice shower. Very beautiful shower. Come and on, Roger. Get in. <laughs> you need a shower, you smelly boy. This is very nice because my boyfriend, yeah. Rogier, he made does magic. Yeah, he does magic and he made this shower. And this is actually completely made out of copper. Yeah, I bought copper foil on the internet. I wanted a copper shower. And you've got tiles with copper. There goes my shoe. Roger, come here. No. And... Uh... <laughs> No, cheeky dog. 
So on the internet you can buy foil and just glue it on the wood. Yeah. So Rogier made wooden panels. And I looked it up on the University of YouTube, of course, how to get the patina on the copper because it was really shiny. Yeah, it does get patina out of its own, but it, but takes, it takes a long, a time. long time. And also, it is, I think, probably more beautiful if you do something to it because you can create some patterns in it. Yeah. But it was quite hard because you only see it coming after 30 minutes. So you put the. Uh, it's like flower fertilizer mixed with water yeah. to get the turquoise. And if you put it uh, with vinegar, vinegar and water, it will be green. Yeah. So I, I love blue, as you can see. So if you use plant fertilizer... <laughs> with water with mixed. With water, and does it matter what kind of plant fertilizer you no, use? No, I just bought, bought the cheapest bottle of it, like the liquid stuff. Yeah. And mix it with water, give it a good shake. Just spray it on. You don't see what you're doing. So after 30 minutes, it is patina, a big, it big comes surprise. Up. Yeah, so it's a big surprise. I try. I did a test on a little piece of copper, of course, and did it with a cloth, with a wet cloth. First, I tried it with a spray, and then we cut like trees, like yeah. dripping down, and it was really busy. Yeah. So I thought I want a bit more quiet. So I did it with a cloth, and you can see. Me clotting around there. Yeah, I will, I will film a little close-up. But you are saying that if you do plant fertilizer and water, it gets more of a bluish... Turquoise, yeah. Turquoise, but if you do vinegar and water on the it copper... It will be green. It will be green. Green, yeah. Yeah, so it's the difference between turquoise and green. Yeah, and I'm not a very creamy person. I like the turquoise, so yeah. that's why. I think it turned out absolutely amazing. So this goes through this wall to the other side. Yeah. I also really love this, these doors. That's a uh, window shutter. Yeah, the I know. Yeah, shutters from, they from are France. So beautiful. So you can just close them yeah. like this. And I loved all the... The old... The, yeah, yeah, the color and the patina on it. It's beautiful. And the oak, the old oak. Yeah. And just very handy as well. Yeah, yeah, because they do not take in any space. If you don't want a, a door in. So the copper continues over here. Is this the mandala that you told me about? That yeah, you were... I want to hang this on the ceiling. That should go up. Yeah. That's a to-do job. I need an extra pair of hands to do that. <laughs> this is the shelf that goes through the wall to the other side. Yeah, like the also old Also very oak. beautiful old piece of oak. This is also very nice. I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Little mirrors. Oh, I do not want to see myself in every single mirror. <laughs> now I can understand why you liked the video about the Bosrand shop. Oh, so much. It drove me crazy. <laughs> I wanted everything, like the whole shop, yeah, everything. The same for me. These are from a castle in France and they're pure silk. Pure so silk. Really expensive, very delicate as well because they're torn everywhere. You can see on this side here. But it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be perfect. No. But I bought them for peanuts. It's a beautiful think, color. Yeah, I think the color just reflects. Yeah. And it's such a nice warmth and feel to it as well. Yeah. And it just works. So yeah. I bought nine of those with the, um, all the, the the details like the embroidery, the tie backs and oh, stuff. Yeah. And for 125 euros. Wow. That that's, made me smile. Yeah, that's an amazing buy. Yeah, that's really nice. And this is really funny as well. That's that's Rogier's uh, light little, switch. Oh yeah, it's a little belt <laughs> yeah, that so you are using belt. as a cord for the light. And this is an ostrich egg. A real one? Yeah. Oh yeah. With a little bronze ball. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, it is. Also an interesting piece of art. Yeah, that's from Italy. And the lights are all here. 
Ro- he had them laying around and he didn't die, know what to do with it. Rogier had these slides. Yep. I did not even know about, about yeah. that. You are very lucky he that said, I... said, I've got the perfect lights for you for a year. And you I are thought, very lucky that I did not know we had those lights. Otherwise, probably... They wouldn't be in here. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can enjoy them now. Yeah. And they fit here very well. Yeah, exactly. So I'm happy that you have them. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's always nice to have boyfriends that have things lying around. Oh, I've had so many things lying around. Even a Buddha lying around. Yeah, there's even a Buddha lying around. <laughs> yeah, yoga camping. <laughs> yeah, because Patricia is going to start a yoga camping. Because you also have... We have Buddha's hands here. Yeah, we also have Buddha hands here. These are also for the yoga camping. Yeah. But Patricia, she's a very busy lady because you also have a bed and breakfast at this yep. farmhouse. And now you are also planning to start a yoga camping. Something like that. Which is going to be an amazing project With to film, tents. by the way. With roof tents. So it will be very original because I haven't seen anything like it yet. Roof tents? Roof tents, like on top. Yeah. Of a construction. Yeah. You sleep on top like we sleep on top of our car in a roof tent. Yeah. And I want to do that with the campsite as well. So you are going to have buildings and on top there are going to be tents and yeah. people can sleep in it. Of course with an amazing view. Of course. Over the horses. And, and the sunset. Yeah. Amazing. And all the animals running around. Yeah. So That's yeah. going to be a very interesting project. I think so. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> and some of the things you are already collecting. Like these beautiful, this is made from wood. I still have no idea how you found this because I never saw anything I like was, it. I was collecting chicken in Ooh. the north of Holland. You were collecting chickens? Yeah, our chicks who are yeah. in uh, Charlie and his angels. And they're running around in the garden here. And I just, I was looking for something like this for the campsite and the Buddha stuff. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, I would be desperate for something nice to buy for the campsite. And I just drove past a shop who had a big clearance sale selling all the Buddha stuff. Yeah, that's the universe giving that's you universe. exactly what you I need. I said, thank you, universe. That's me. <laughs> They're coming I, home. I told you it always works. It always works. <laughs> I've got a strong belief in that. Yeah, me too. And these are my uncles. Uh, my uncle passed away and he's Omeyan and he was very, very precious to us. Is this from a boat? Because it looks a little uh, no, bit like... No, from a carriage. It's like a horse carriage. Horse carriage. Oh, yeah, yes. So the lights, they hang on the side. And uh, so we had them for, for many years. He bought them because he liked them so much. And he passed away. And uh, my... my um, <laughs> My aunt, <laughs> I couldn't find the word. She gave them to me and I thought, well, they should go in the farmhouse. When you enter the dark stable, Uncle Jan, it will shine a light on us. Yeah. So they're here now. And when, as soon as I come in, I see the light. I think, oh, that's him. Yeah. He and brings a light to us. Do you have home. any idea how old these are? Because I no, think they I are. No, I think they're quite old. Yeah, I yeah, think so too. they're crooked and they're like... But they're lovely. Yeah, they are lovely. And little cinema chairs. You have yeah, over here. Very fun. old. Old cinema chairs. Did you put this fabric on? Or no, did they it already, already came? On. Yeah, it was already on. I thought it was a bit of fun. Yeah, it is fun. Because it, this is not something that you... I think this I is not the original. The <laughs> no, but it is a very fun combination. Yeah, it is. I think. And all kinds of just little quirky... Things everywhere. Sticks and hats. That's from a, a car boot sale. Wow. To put your shoes on. But yeah. Look at, look at the hat. Like the doggy hat. That's a poodle. It's a poodle. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it funny? It is very Watch funny. It. No, you don't look like a poodle. No, but they no. do have a little bit of the same very cute vibe. No, oh, I think he quite likes it. Yeah, he likes everything he that likes he can chew on. on it. Yeah, <laughs> we're not going to chew on this. Oh, we give him some inspiration now. Oh boy. I better take that away. Oh boy, he's, no. he's already starting to get excited. Mine, mine, Roger. A lot of areas are just projects and that's how it's probably always going to be because it's a farmhouse. It's a farmhouse and it is lived in and I think but that's how it is supposed to be. I see the finishing line, though. 
Yeah. This needs sorting out some painting to do here, but that's when the weather is turning bad. Yeah. Yes, it's a shame to in do winter, things inside In winter you can now. do all of those things inside, but you place some extra windows because these walls you made. Yeah, that's all brand new. So the whole place, this was just one open space. Yeah, and so right now over there, there is... stone wall. This is the antique shop. Oh yes, okay. So she does not only have a bed and breakfast and... 30 horses. 30 horses, a full-time job. A lot job. of animals. <laughs> The B&B, &B, the renovation, a camping, a camping campsite. ground to come, but she also has an antique shop. I'm tripping over a light that is hanging here. Very interesting. Beautiful. Yeah, bought in that auction. Chandelier. And that's for the campsite as well. That's also for the campsite. Yeah, so I want to hang it in that. It is going to, can you imagine to build, a, camp, a yoga campsite? Where with you a have chandelier. With a chandelier. You are sleeping on top of a roof in a tent with chandeliers <laughs> and Buddhas and beautiful wooden hands. Yeah, hands <laughs> that hold you. And I think it is going to be an amazing, an amazing project. They are from a very, very big high building, like a lovely house in Belgium, in Antwerp. So I saw them online. I always wanted to divide, like this is a bit like stable and the house is starting there. So I want a division. Yeah, a separation, between, but not yeah. completely closed off. No, but you needed some light to come in as well, because this is so dark in here. So I wanted more light to come in. So I saw these doors and I love like the ovals and yeah. like the bevel edge and everything so I had to have them but they came with a window on top because the ceilings were really high yeah and the guy said you've got to buy the window as well I said yeah I love that window but I have got no idea what what to, to do, do with it where to put it so then I think of things and I think well I can make a wall there and make like a utility room and the kitchen yeah so just the and, and put the wall in between with the glass on top, so to get more light in as well. Yeah. And also when you're cooking now, you can see through the whole window, because... Uh, uh, through the whole building, yeah. <laughs> through the whole window. Yeah, because the kitchen is <laughs> over there. Because the kitchen is over there, and you, if you're cooking there, you can now see if somebody's coming in through yeah. the door. So it's pretty clever as well. Yeah. So come on in. Yes, I want to come in. Badly. <laughs> so on the right hand side here. Oh yeah, there's a water well here. A water well? Yeah, so there's a big um, millstone on top. There's a big millstone on top of a well. Yeah, so that's a big, big deep water well to for water for the cows. Oh yes, of because course. Because the cows were standing here and the, there was an original cupboard bed here in this corner. Yeah. And we had to take that apart because it was so, so gone and a lot of woodworm in it. it yeah, so maybe people do not know what that is because in Dutch it is a very normal thing in old farmhouses to have beds to sleep in inside. Well, it's not inside a wall, but yeah. it's like a big cupboard that you open and inside is a very cozy little sleeping area. And so, it was very, very small because the people were a lot smaller. Yeah, then. they were always very small. And they were sleeping with their legs up. Yeah. I've got an old pump outside and to kind of sort that out. We want to put it on top so we can get, some, water. get some water for the for the plants in the garden as well. Yeah, and the dogs. So, and it's just a nice feature. Yeah. So like the tiles, I bought that in the, that's typical Frisian. From Friesland. Friesland. <laughs> and it's just a bit of fun. The concert that is called Live. Yeah. <laughs> it is a concert that you cannot get a program for. Exactly. Very bad translation, but is that, well, that's what in, in English they say you never know what's around the corner. I think it would be very nice to install the pump back and have a little bit of and history, clear history back. out the whole space. Yes, That's of course. That's the plan, of course. And then yeah. she got them from Bali, I think. From Bali. But I thought they were so much fun. And it fits very nicely because you have so many horses. I exactly. think they are great. They I think are they are great. amazing. They just suit. They just, they just fit here. And over here, what is this? And then we've got the utility room here. That's a pig feeder, this one. 
So that's an old pig feeder, and I liked it so much. Drill the hole in it and just yeah, now turn it into a sink. Now it's the sink. Yeah, exactly. That's very also useful. Very nice little drawers over there. Same beautiful old oak. wooden oak shelves. I think this is something that Rogier also made, yeah, right? Yeah, that's the, right. That's the rack right. of the for the plates, staircase, balustrades, and cut in half, and then turn into a plate rack. Very clever. And this is the window now that's supposed to go on top, top of, of the doors. doors. So this but window that. was. Let me try to turn slowly, otherwise I'm going to make you dizzy. Was on top of this door. Yeah, but the ceilings are just too low here because it's a farmhouse. It's a lot different. Yeah. So I had to do something else with it. But it's so nice to have this open because it really gives very. It feels very big. Even though this is a very tiny space. And a connection. Yeah. If Mike's cooking there and I'm feeding the dogs or something. Yeah. Standing here. Well, you can just communicate, see each other, and you can see through the wind through the through the yeah. whole building. If you again. are in the kitchen you can look through this window and you can see all the way to the front of the house. We are so lucky that we both have men that cook. Yeah, exactly. The tiles are, are from an from old house in Amsterdam and there was a specialist there and he couldn't get them out because they're really expensive. And he said, well, it's impossible to get them out in one piece. So my ex-boyfriend was working at that house and he said, can, I, can we try over the weekend? And they said, yeah, sure. Said, well, you, it won't work, so you can give it a go. So we did. and we. To, we took all out. Yeah, you managed to do it. Yeah, we managed to do it's it. Amazing. So we get hundreds and hundreds out. That's great because otherwise they would have just been thrown away. Exactly, they and would they... have been gone now. What's what with you, Roger? <laughs> I also really like this cabinet. This is a little bit more Art Deco. Yeah, I it's think. Art Deco, yeah. But I do really like it. Amazing little utility room. Where are we going now? Are Come you... on, Roger. Show us the way. <laughs> Shepherd's pie. This is very funny. <laughs> These are the same curtains as you showed before in the bathroom. Yes, exactly. But with all of the... Yeah, these came with it. Yeah. And these ones as well. And that's really expensive stuff, so I had a real bargain there. Yeah. Make me really happy. And these are from a car boot sale. So I got six or seven of these. These are called giltjes in the Netherlands. Rogier is a huge fan of these stones. We use them in the garden for all kinds of, oh, uh, all kinds of things. Rogier also has a floor in his kitchen made with these uh, giltjes. So this is original old This is still floor. original because there's no underfloor heating here. I put these in and I just put some extra geeltjes around it. Yeah, this is nice to have a little bit of a transition between this floor and the floor. And is this higher because you put underfloor, underfloor heating, floor heating in? in? Yes. Yeah, and this was like four years ago. It was just sand. There was just nothing. There was the cow shed going from the far back all the way up mm -hmm. here. So the ditch was going here as well. We had to level it, all, level it all out. Yeah. So that was a lot of work. I tried it with a big drill and it took me like half, I was drilling for half an hour and I only had this piece out. Oh. So I thought, oh, this won't work. So we had a machine in, yeah. like our neighbor, he's got a, like a mini digger. Yeah. So we, we rented a drill to put on top. On the excavator of a, yeah. Yeah, on the digger. And he, he's been working on it for a whole day to get the whole ditch out and to level it all. And then it was sand and then it started to rain. Oh God. And then the, the, the water came up and it was like a swimming pool with sand and mud and everything. And that was only three years ago. Yeah. Oh, wow. Because I so, was just uh, planning to ask you how long ago it was that this was just one big stable cow stable yeah like three, three, three and a half years ago so you have done quite a, a huge bit. amount of work yeah and the tiling i just so nothing and... nothing of all of this this whole utility room and the whole kitchen over there let's go take a look at the kitchen 
because it is an amazing kitchen nothing was here nothing nothing <laughs> <laughs> turn some lights on is that helpful it's really helpful but Good. i think we can see everything quite well it's not bad at all and here is another thing that Rogier also made. Yeah, nice. <laughs> it is just very nice to see, see the handiwork of your back. boyfriend. And what I really like is that he continued the little edge that you have in your stone in the wood. He didn't have the profile yet. He had to buy it specially for me. So yeah. I felt a bit like, oh, but guilty. No, 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 no. This <laughs> but is he loves the, it. This is the thing. He loves it when he has an excuse to buy exactly. new tools. I so, knew it. I yeah. knew it. He was so happy. But I, uh, the guy who made the stone, like the, the Belgian hardstone is it, with the fossils in it, Yeah. he didn't have the profile either. So I wanted it like this. And he said, oh, okay. So, so two people had to buy profiles because I wanted something. <laughs> yeah, I had because, something in mind. <laughs> yeah, because you wanted something for the, the stonemason and the carpenter. Yeah. Yeah. Another art deco. I really like the combination of all kinds of different styles. And I think the art deco style really works because if you do not have also things like this, it gets very old fashioned. Yeah. Too, dull yeah too old-fashioned dusty yeah so we don't yeah. want dusty we want quirky quirky this is, yeah this is very quirky like this thing is a toilet uh... oh yeah to flush your toilet with but yeah this was to turn the light on oh look there we go that's, that's a bit of fun that's so creative well that's your boyfriend again 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 <laughs> And this one is like, this wasn't in. I fell in love with this piece of wood yeah. because of the shape. And the guy I always buy it off, the old wood, he was like, oh, uh, nobody wants this one because it's too It's too old, yeah, too it's old too, for the place. Yeah, so nobody wanted it and I loved it. I thought, oh, I want it in the kitchen. And it works really well, I think. Yeah, it is beautiful. Yeah, it's and a it bit fits. Of a piece it now. fits very well in here because it is a stable, and in the stable nothing is straight. Straight. All kinds of nice copper things, pens. You are also a big copper pen fan. Oh yeah, I just love like over here. I bought a whole box on the internet for peanuts again. Yeah, I like bargains. Mm -hmm, me too. And, uh, <laughs> So I was really excited about this little one and this little one and also these three. They, these are really, really sweet. I really like these. Yeah, me too. And that Another one, one over there. That's the car boot sale one. A beautiful cooker, purple. Yeah, that's we something got that from England and it's a second hand one because we couldn't afford uh, a new one. So I said to Mike, come on, let's jump in the car. Let's go buy a purple let's stove. Let's go buy a purple aga. <laughs> <laughs> so we went and we just combined it with a nice weekend. Mm -hmm. So we borrowed a, a fan of a friend of ours and drove over and collected the thing. And it's a second hand one. It's coming from a big, big like farmhouse in England. I never saw a purple one. Well, never. nobody likes the purple. No, I do. I do. Yeah. Because it's different. Yeah. We like different. Yeah, we do. <laughs> and this is to store your meat in. So this one's from Wales. And it's not for cheese, it's for meat. Okay. And it's so nice. And the colors go so well together. And I just love the whole Aesthetics thing of about that. it. Yeah. Yeah, I can understand. What's also so nice while I am standing here. <laughs> oh, the birds. And yeah, the birds outside. This is bird paradise. This is bird paradise. There are all these little, I'm, I'm going to show you them later. All these very nice, cute little bird houses. And the birds are everywhere. They love it. You look around at the corner and all of a sudden you see a beautiful horse. Still bought, have this horse? Or? No, I bought him in Wales, imported him. And he was very bored here. He was getting really fat, so he had yeah. to do something. So we had him trained and he's a riding pony now. So he's got a good life and he's making people happy. But it's very nice to have a little remembrance. Yeah, because he's, he's such a special boy. We wanted him on the tiles. 
And this is a bit of fun as well. This this thing is called a Welsh spoon. A Welsh spoon? Yeah, this is made by an artist called Ed Harrison. And he's very, very talented. So this is the Welsh dragon. Mm -hmm. And every sign has, has got a meaning. meaning. Like yeah. the ball is for children. This is for love. Like food and wealth. And eternity. Like there's all sorts of meanings. I know I don't know them all, I've got to admit, but we loved it so much. It was hanging in a shop in uh, Kalian, which is a place in Wales where Mike grew up. And Mike is your? Mike is my lover. Your lover. My lover. The cooker <laughs> and the lover. Yeah, my cook and my lover. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we saw this and we thought, oh, that's great. What is this? Well, this is a bar from a bordello in Belgium. <laughs> Exciting stories. I was looking for a door and I was looking on the Belgian internet site for secondhand stuff. And then I saw this bar and I thought, oh my God, I've got to have that. And we got the address and I went there with a friend because we had to take it out ourselves because it was built in, mm -hmm. a, in a place. We didn't know what kind of place. And he said, well, you give me 200 euros and you can just take it out. So, good price. So we went there to Belgium with a very handy friend. And uh, he said, where are you taking me? Because we got the address and it was Hotel Tabo. And I said, no, it's not a taboo. It's a Tabo. Tabo. It's a hotel. So <laughs> it's nothing wrong. He said, are you taking me to a bordello? No, of course not. <laughs> As soon as we arrived, I saw the pink signs with girls, 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 and I thought, oh gosh, he might be right there. <laughs> and he was right. So we were in a bordello, and the, the place was built after the bar went in. So there were little hallways there, and we couldn't get it out. So we just chucked it out of the window, put the hanger underneath with the car underneath <laughs> the window. We just chucked it out of the window, and there it went. Hop! in the kitchen and I wanted it to work to flow in the worktop just around the corner like this mm -hmm. so I had this worktop made because there was a big big oak thick worktop on top of the bar and it was really ugly and there were big posts on top as well so it looked horrible very German very heavy yeah and I wanted it more light and more elegant so I thought well with the Belgian hearthstone it would be really nice and for it to flow around the corner into the sink, like that. Yeah, that's amazing. So the sink is a horse feeder, actually. You can tie your horse, and now I tie Mike here. Oh, yeah. Just, just if you refuse to make sure he that stays he, in his yeah, kitchen. Yeah, to make sure that he cooks and he does the dishes. Exactly. And um, this one's supposed to go like this, so I just flipped it over. So normally it, these are in front mm -hmm. and I just love the shape of this. Yeah. So I flipped it over. I thought it would be nice to put it on top as well because they're not supposed to go together. No. They're separate. Yeah. So I just made this box and I think it works really well. Yeah. But we had a corner here we couldn't use. So because this is not it's too tight for a cabinet. And yeah, here, this wine... Yeah, this normally 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 it goes into your into the worktop because we've got a remote control and now the engine it's got an engine for a sunscreen yeah and it's gone yeah so it right does, now it, it is not working work. that's no. why it is here it's but damaged. normally this go this goes down and disappears completely into the worktop yeah you just don't see it so it's also a bit of fun again. If the party starts, you just press the button and there, right there comes the bar, the wine bar. So this is also something that I think is very beautiful. Little angel over here. Again, the same beautiful silk curtains. I really like, I really like her. She's sweet. Very beautiful wooden carved. And this is also something that you bought very cheaply, secondhand, from yeah. some sort of a yuppie. Actually, everything, almost everything is secondhand. I can't think of anything new in here. 
Not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the flower pot. That's a new one. That was my birthday or Christmas gift from Mike. It is very interesting with all I of those bunnies. I loved it. And yeah. also the color of it. I really like this whole this whole situation with the flowers and the face and the the yeah how did you call how do you call this a post a stand a, a post flower stand right now it is turned into a flower stand and then we then went <laughs> christmas shopping you went christmas shopping for a christmas tree for a christmas tree and we came home with a tuk-tuk <laughs> of course you went shopping for a christmas tree yeah. and you came home with a tuk-tuk <laughs> <laughs> and now this tuk-tuk is turned, you go around it, it is or turned a, into a wine bar oh no the wine bar a whiskey bar of course a whiskey bar <laughs> mike's hobby <laughs> this is your boyfriend's hobby yeah he's mad about whiskey mm -hmm. because he's welsh yeah i All also think welsh are mad about whiskey yeah and he's got a great collection this is not it because he's got plenty more upstairs so just the kooky bits up here. I also really like this beam. It is beautiful. That's all brand new. Yeah. So I what I try to do actually is make it look like it's been here forever. And it quite worked because we use old materials yeah. like the old oak. And these are cut. This, this is all brand new. But there was a wall here. So where I stand now, this was the cow shed. So mm -hmm. that's the kitchen. There was a wall here and the kitchen was over here so this little corner was kitchen yeah and the old farmers they lived in this space but the the cabinets all the end suite wall wasn't there mm -hmm. and everything you see is brand new the walls as well because it looked horrible and it all needed doing you want to see the rest yes we do